Hello. I'm gonna wait a few minutes, let everybody come in the room. Hi, come on in, come on in. Welcome, welcome. Hi everybody. Oh wow, so many people. Come on in, I feel like I'm opening the doors of a classroom. Hi, we'll get started in just a second. I wanna give people a chance to join. I'm gonna wave at some of you, hello. I love that I can wave, how cute is that? Hi everybody, welcome to our first live. How cool is that? Awesome, hi from Miami, hello, hello from Washington. Nice to meet you all. Welcome to Adobe Photoshop Elements' very first Instagram Live. We are very excited to be here. My name is Bailey. I work on the Adobe Elements social team, and we wanted the chance to say hello, put a face to some of our names, and just walk you through some really cool edits. Um, we got some awesome questions that came in through our Instagram story yesterday, and people wanted to know a little bit more about a couple of our tools, and I want to walk you through them because they're really easy to do. So I've actually got some edits ready for us that we get to uh, watch and walk through so you can visualize. I'm a visual person, so this should help. Um, but yeah, welcome. Um, if you have questions throughout the live, you can actually put them in the Q&A button right there. If we run out of time, we'll do another one and we'll answer more questions later. If you have questions throughout the edit, I am going to pause on answering questions during the edit and answer them after. So don't worry, we'll get back to you. Um, but just so you know, because the edit will go really fast and we just want to get through it. So first up, um, we're going to talk about the spot healing brush in quick mode. There's some really cool things about the spot healing brush that not a lot of people know about. Some hidden gems, if you will. So we put a, an edit together of this sweet little girl playing in the sprinklers, which is perfect because I feel like it's getting warmer out there. We're in sprinkler mode. Um, but she's got sprinkles of water across her face and I really want her smile to come through. Um, so I'm gonna pull up that edit and we're gonna get started. And I'm gonna, you know what? Let me put some waves out there to welcome you all in. Awesome. Okay. Let me pull this up for us. Okay, right away, you're gonna be able to tell what I'm talking about. See how her sweet little smile is just blocked off? I really want that to come through. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit the spot healing brush all the way over on the left. It looks like a Band-Aid. How easy is that? And right away, a menu pops up with lots of different customizations that you can use. Don't even need to touch them. The default options are really easy to start with and you don't really need to move them around. So I'm gonna zoom in because why we need to see all the details of what's happening here. And the closer we get, you'll notice there's even more sprinkles that I wanna take care of right away. Um, so my go-to is just to zoom in as close as possible so that you get right to the heart of all those little sprinkles and you're gonna click and it'll go away easy as that? How crazy is that? Um, so what I like to do is take care of all the prominent, easy to get spots, right? Like, let's just get the easy stuff out of the way and then we'll dig in um, to the more detailed things. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go across her face and get all these sprinkles that are kind of over one color mode. Um, and then the more detailed ones, like the sprinkles that are underneath her eye that are layered on top of each other across her chin, there's lots that kind of go across her chin and the grass. We'll take care of those later. Let's just focus on these. So you might notice that my brush is getting smaller and bigger depending on the size of the sprinkle that I'm trying to take care of. You can actually use keys on your keyboard to make that a lot easier to maneuver. You can use the right and left brackets back and forth to make it smaller and bigger and take care of that, that spot right away instead of having to do multiple clicks per spot. Isn't that nice? I like to make things very simple for you at Photoshop Elements. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm just taking care of all these easy to get sprinkles. Wow, so many of you are here, hello. I'm gonna give some waves. Uh, if you mess up, as we all do, <laughs> you can just hit undo. Yep, that easy, right on your keyboard. And if you're on a uh, PC, you can hit the Alt key to do this next step. We'll get there in just a second. 
This one might be a little tricky. Yep, see how it kind of gives that halo effect around where the circle was? Really simple to take care of. You just minimize your brush a little bit and then click, click, click around the halo and it's gone. We'll take care of that one by her nose. And then let's get into some of the more complicated sprinkles right by her chin. Complicated, but still easy to take care of, I promise you. Okay, so you don't have to go very far to take care of these. We're gonna hit over to the healing brush right next to that spot healing brush. And now your brush is gonna be able to be teachable. Um, you can hit, like I said, the Alt key on PC or the Option key on Mac and a crosshair mouse will appear instead. And now I'm gonna teach my brush to learn two different areas of this picture, the pink and the green. So I'll do the Option key, click, and now, see how the brush has been split, pink and green? Now I can teach the picture to say something different, basically. Now I can go back to her chin where that one sprinkle is and click, I've created a new part of her chin. What? See, I love it. Um, I can also go up to this bigger sprinkle and I can click, hold and drag, and it'll actually teach that area to become skin. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? Now you'll see there's like a weird little divot that happened. That's okay, it's a different artifact. And now I wanna teach it to be more pink. I'll go back to the spot healing brush and click, click, click. And now her chin is just perfection. Awesome, let's do another harder one, but not, dif not as difficult as you think. So I'm gonna spot heal this one right by her lip away. Okay, it's created like a weird shadow. I'm gonna go back to the healing brush and I'm gonna teach the healing brush to be part of that line of her chin. Isn't this cool? So I'm gonna do the option key again. It'll do that crosshair and I'll click it to learn the line and then I'm gonna click the line across where the line should be and make an authentic shadow. Voila, love it. Okay, I'm gonna zoom back out because I think I've got one more. Yep, I've got one more right by her eye. This one actually might not be as complicated as I assumed in the past. So I'll go back to that spot healing brush once I've zoomed all the way in and click away those sprinkles. And while I do that, I'm also gonna do waves to the people that are joining us, hello. And there you go. See, now she is the star of the show. It's not about all those sprinkles across her face. I get to see that sweet little smile. Isn't that awesome? Okay. Ta-da, okay. Yeah, thanks, Sonia. Thanks for all of the loves that are coming in too. We're so glad that you're here. I've got two more edits for you. This next one is very fast. Like we're talking under two minutes. Um, and I think it helps a lot of those landscape photos or a photo that's just a little off kilter that you want it to be that perfect straight line. There's a hidden gem within that tool. And I'm gonna walk you through that next if we don't have any questions that I can answer right away. Again, if you have questions, you can put them in the Q&A button. If you can't find the Q and a button you can put it in the comment we'll take care of it okay now for all my adventurers this one's for you see I've got this beautiful landscape photo but it's just it's off a little bit so I'm gonna use the straighten tool on the left menu it looks like a level that you might have at your home right um, and we're gonna do this in quick mode you can do this in quick or expert mode it's totally up to you but we're gonna do quick mode because it's just it's so easy. Now you'll notice again that more options came up in the menu below. Don't touch them, just leave them. Make sure that maintain image size and autofill edges stays there. Now I'm going to click a horizon line that I want to straighten in the photo, which I'm going to use the beach to do that in just a second. What it's going to do is it's going to immediately straighten the photo, but you'll notice check mark areas of the photo that are blank. The AI will make that appear right away. How cool is that? It it figures out what parts of the photo are missing and fills them in. But something did happen here. I'm gonna zoom in so you can see it. So I don't want, I don't wanna fake it. I wanna make this as authentic as possible. Um, and I'm gonna use the spot healing brush again to fix this. So what you'll see is that there are some repeat pixels down in the water, right? That looks a little awkward. And I want this to look exactly like water. Using the spot healing brush and the healing brush, I can click in between the two and make sure that those repeated pixels are smoothed out and look more like the water around it. And it's so simple. See, I'm just clicking away that weird repetition. Voila. I can use the healing brush to mimic parts of other parts of the water 
in other areas of the photo. So it does, doesn't look as repetitive. And that's it. That's how fast that is. Isn't that crazy? I'll zoom out. Voila, here is our beautiful photo. It all straightened out. And it's as simple as that. This is probably one of my favorite like quick fixes that we have on Photoshop Elements. Okay, told you that was a fast one. Awesome. Oh, I have so many more waves to give out. Hello, everybody. Awesome. Okay, before we get into our last one, I wanted to pull it all into all into it together for you. So we've now used the spot healing brush and the healing brush. We've used the straighten tool. We're gonna to use both of those tools in our last edit, as well as replace background. And we're gonna move into, hey Marvin, or Marvina. Um, we're gonna move into expert mode, easier than you think, not as scary as it sounds. Um, and there's some really cool opportunities to make a photo just that much better. And this edit includes a little puppy, what more could you want? So let me pull that up for us. <clears throat> okay, here she is. Here's our little wiener dog. I'm gonna name her Lily. She looks like a Lily to me. Um, and you'll notice that Lily's table is a little wonky. So we need to straighten that out first before we get into the really fun stuff. So we're gonna go back to our straighten tool. <sighs> there it goes, sorry. <laughs> Uh, we're also going to be using layers in this photo, which is really fun. And again, it just opens up more opportunities. All right, how cute is that dog? Um, sorry, give me one second. Okay, so like I said, we're going to use that straighten tool to make sure that the table is, and Lily are just evened out a little bit. And it's going to do that auto fill edges again, which is so cool to me. Um, and I'll pick that horizon line, which is the table itself and you'll notice that autofill will happen automatically. Ta-da! I feel like Mary Poppins when I do that. <laughs> okay, everything looks pretty good except there's one section of the table in that bottom right hand corner that I want to take care of. Looks like we have some repeated pixels again. So back to the healing brush. I'm going to teach that brush to be a table for a second and I'll zoom in so you can see what I am fixing. There it is, little stinker. Okay, so again, we're gonna use our Option key or the Alt key on PC. And we're gonna click that part of the table and then click, click, click away those repeated pixels. And now we have a perfect table. How cool is that? Okay, awesome. So you've already used two things that you learned today. Yay, let's get on to the really cool stuff. Um, so now I need to select Lily so that I can cut her out of the background. And that's really easy to do. You just go to the main menu, hit select, and then subject. And automatically the AI in the software will select everything around Lily. You'll see if I zoom in, there's like little marching ants <laughs> around her. But it looks like the table didn't get selected. Not a big deal. I do want that table to be included in the forefront of the picture. So easy to uh, select that. I'm going to hit the... Uh, Rectangular marquee tool on the far left side. Yep, that one all the way at the top. Select that. And then I'm gonna hold down the shift key and click and drag around the edge of the table. It might be a little small for you to see. You might need to hold your phone up a little closer, but I promise you it's happening. <laughs> okay, now that all of that is selected, now I get to make some layers. This is really cool. So go back onto the right hand side. We still have one layer, I need to make two. So I'm gonna hit the, uh, the little gray circle and blue square box and that will automatically make it so that she is layered out. Um, the thumbnail image next to the photo shows everything that is black has been erased and everything white is what's kept, right? And I can actually click off that layer so that you can see that the background is still there, didn't go anywhere. Ta-da! But I'm gonna, I need to click it off because now we need to, we have to have some fun, right? It's time to um, insert that new background. And I've got this really fun one. It's very springy and painterly looking and I just got it from Adobe Stock. Lots of great assets over there. I'll pull that up in a second and it's gonna be super simple to transition that out. Here it is, how cute is that? 
Okay, so now that we've got that, we're gonna go back to the rectangular marquee tool, that rectangle on the side panel, and we're going to uh, click and drag that from corner to corner so that the whole image is selected, right? These are very easy steps next. <laughs> I'm gonna go to edit, I'm gonna hit copy, I'm gonna go back to Lily, I'm going to hit edit again, and paste. That's not what we want, but that's okay. <laughs> now I need to click the layer down so it's behind her. So all you do on the right, pull it down below the image of Lily, and there she is again. And you can actually manipulate the photo behind her, which is really cool. You can click it and then click the select tool, which is the first option on the other side of the menu, the left-hand side. Once you have that key selected, you see that there's little markers on the edges of her photos. Now I can pull those in different directions to make this picture take over the entire space of the original photo. See how simple, it's awesome. Okay, and I can move that around to kind of figure out which section of the background photo I want it to be in. I think that looks good. Hit that green arrow before we're done. And Lily is ready for her Instagram moment. How fun is that? We have a blast with this function on our Instagram. And that's it. That, those are the, the tools that I have for you today. We would love to do more of these. So if you want to see more from us in live, you can message us here on Instagram in a direct message. You can comment on our newest post or you can put it in the comments here today. If you ever wanna see or hear about more tools or from you know awesome designers or photographers here at Adobe Elements, we would love to continue to do these. And we're so thankful that you came and watched us today. I'm gonna to send some last waves off for you. And again, my name is Bailey. Thank you so much for joining us. And I hope you have a terrific Thursday. Have a good day.